What's going on guys? It's your boy Terror by Reaction. Welcome back Terror Squad. We are back with season 3 of Peaky Blinders. Last season was crazy. A lot of payoffs. A lot of things that I wanted to happen did happen. It was kind of iffy there at the end. I taught my boy Tommy was going to get taken out. But of course, plot armor. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated plot armor huh anyways um last season was a great season great season everything was on point can't even can't even begin to talk about last season um because it would take me forever to break the whole season down it was this show is one of those shows where you have to pay attention. There's subtle hints towards things of things come to the end. As I said before in in my reactions to the, towards the end of the season, I, I felt like it was rushed a bit. So the pacing picked up tenfold between the the second to last episode and the last episode. It was it, it, the the pace was just off. There was also no indication of why Solomon's turned on Tommy like that was another thing too and then the whole thing of him not liking what Sabini did that was also a mystery you know what I'm saying so they kind of rushed it and it seems like they cut some scenes out um and just expected us to understand but all in all the biggest payoff of the season was finding out who the real Peaky Blinder is and that is my girl Aunt Polly she is the one okay the way out she took out major campbell was nothing short of being the original gangster okay nothing comes close nothing comes close so we got our boy michael i think i want to sneeze am i going to sneeze i don't know <laughs> anyways um that was weird um, but I still feel like I'm going to see it. So if you see me dip off the screen, you know what it is. Okay. So it's crazy how they're developing this. A lot of people have said that season three is their favorite season of Peaky Blinders. So I'm hyped as hell. Still six episodes. So, um, so I'm ready to jump into this, man. Season three. Hope, hopefully to see what's the, what the journey is going to be with Michael and Tommy, um, Polly's son, to see, um, hopefully, um, Arthur can get his shit together, um, the, um, John, he's a different story, because now he got the old girl that, you know, the, the, the whore that's trying to get her life together, she's telling him, it's like, I don't see the same thing in you, like, I see in Tommy, like, you're not cut out to be a gangster, so, maybe that's a foreshadowing of things to come, maybe he's gonna go try hard this season, who knows, but let's see what happens in this season, man, you guys already know, link is down in the description, see the full reaction, come back, check out the review, as always, you guys know what it is, Let's get it. Let's go. Season three of Peaky Blinders. You guys like this? If you if you like this wallpaper, man, give this video a thumbs up off the bat. If you like this wallpaper, just pick this up. Um, new season, new wallpaper. Let's get it, man. We're about to jump into this. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so I just finished watching season three, episode one of Peaky Blinders. That was pretty cool. Pacing of the episode was really good. Um, Grace and Tommy getting married. That was something that, you know, I was hoping that would happen in the series. And it's here. They have their baby. I'm guessing the kid is about one, two years old because it's a two year time skip um, coming into this season. Um... The deal that they have, that Tommy has 
with Churchill. I'm guessing they're go they're still going up against those those Reds or whatever they want to call them. Um, so basically, Tommy has to listen because he he has to. Churchill saved his life. So now he's basically like he has to do what Churchill tells him to do. So if if it's an assassination they want him to do, if it's something, if they're going up against like the any enemies of the government or anything like that, he has if they're using them. And this is not foreign. This is this is not something foreign to real life. I don't know if um I think I don't remember if I think this is a true story. This whole thing was a tr true story because they are using like people that we know like we know about winston churchill like everybody knows about that dude so um so i'm guessing that this was something that went on back in the day um so it's not for it's, it's not foreign to me as in you know i'm pretty sure that you know they use fictional things you know for dramatization reasons of course but true story nonetheless adaptation so the concept is not foreign of government using gangs and drug dealers and all of these other stuff to get certain things done because they don't want to be involved mind you they will never get the blowback if it should if anything should happen and this is very obvious with the, um if you know the history if you know the history of um, how the, the, you know, the drug trade started, you know what I'm saying? Drug business and how Escobar got big and all of this other stuff. He didn't build that stuff. That stuff wasn't being ran, wasn't coming to America just because they wanted, um, just because they could do it. It was allowed. Okay. It was allowed all in all for all sense and purpose and to not be long winded about it. It was allowed. Okay about the history um you have sometimes you you have the government they push drugs into certain neighborhoods do their experiments or whatever the situation is they do this stuff okay the government they wash their hands of 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 stuff over the years don't get me wrong um but it still remains to be seen and all you know there's a lot of conspiracies out there some of them true some of them not true but it is what it is you know, it is what it is, like, you really and truly, like, if you don't know for sure, you know what I'm saying, you can't really prove it, because a lot of this stuff is done in secrecy, and they don't care how many people die because of it, they say it's for the greater good, even though I don't agree with that, it is what happens, so this is not foreign to, or, or it's not, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh an act that just would have happened back in the day you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure it still goes on today it's kind of like um you know it's just certain things most things a lot of stuff is done in secrecy with government and stuff and, and, and stuff like that that we don't know about you know it, and you know just to put a little bit of contrast to it is just like we don't know how many how many times you know what i'm saying these people go out and they stop bombings and stuff like that and you're just Diddly diddly do around, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying? Like, bombs are diffused or, you know, stopped before, you know, the act can be carried out, you know, by terrorists or whatever. But you don't know about it because sometimes it's not always in the news. It's not going to be in the news when it gets stopped, especially if it's like high and stuff like the FBI, CIA, stuff like that. Like, it's not going to be broadcast on the news because sometimes it's a part of an ongoing investigation and stuff like that. Maybe they just, maybe they just had the tip of the iceberg, but they're trying to get to another person that's higher. You know how to, you know, you know, just guess. A lot of the stuff, this stuff that they portray in TV shows, it happens. I'm not saying that's where, that's my source material, but, you know, because I do have people, um, I do have people in my circle that are in law enforcement and stuff. I handle law, law enforcement in my circle. So, you know, 
they, they don't tell me everything but you know you can pick up the gist of what they're saying sometimes about certain things it's like sometimes they'd be they, they, they'd be like you know how many times i'll save your life nigga <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they give you that look like but you don't you don't know so because you, you're just so casual about everything that you're doing you don't know that these people put their lives in danger every every day to get certain things done you know what i mean like i don't agree with the fact that that certain things happen but that's just how the world works sometimes and you just got to accept it and move on or, you know, it's just what it is. So back to Peaky Blinders, that was just a simple opinion. And I was just trying to say about what was happening between Churchill and Tommy. Um, it, it's not anything foreign. So um, Arthur, he, you know, it seems like he's not on the coke anymore. He's not on the cocaine. Um, seems like he gave up drinking, but he drinks every now and then to remind himself not to drink, which is weird as hell. But yeah, so everybody that was in, in this episode was pretty cool. We got to see Ada. Um, um, seems like they have something going on um, with the Russians or whatever the situation is. I'm still, I haven't quite grabbed what, what is happening with the Russians or what what churchill is having him do or what he's involved with but we'll see we'll see we'll definitely see what happened um i'm guessing that's a developing story so they don't want to reveal too much in the first episode of the season but it was great to see everything just eyeballing everything and how they've progressed in two years the shit ton of money that they're making and now they're about to make more because it seems like you know the government is is, is um the government is paying them like you know with the ten thousand dollars and stuff um i don't know as i said i'm still a little confused about what is happening but i understand it's the first episode of the season so a lot of things are not going to be explained especially with the two-year time skip that that's happening so there's a lot of stuff that is going on that you're not going to really know about but i'm guessing they're going to explain it throughout the season as as things move forward okay so that's basically all i really have to say about this episode developing storylines are a little bit confusing right now but i'm hoping that things will go better later on down the line before you know while the season goes on they have five more hours to do this so let's give them the benefit of the doubt right why not they haven't disappointed me so far except you know last season they kind of rushed the end of the season but that is all you know Everything else is perfectly fine so far. This new girl, that's um, that's with Arthur. I don't know what her role is here. I'm I'm trying to figure out. It seems that like, seems like she's really in. Seems like she's trying to help Arthur. Um, but it seems like he depends on her a bit too much. You get what I'm saying? Like, like she's like. It seems like a sense of control that she has over him, and she's kind of milking it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if she's really for real trying to help him or she's manipulative. Like, I'm trying to figure out her character. She didn't spend much time on screen, but she didn't give a great impression for herself on screen. You know what I mean? Because she, and even though she knows specifically what's going on, she still encouraged Arthur to, oh, speak from your heart. That could be anything. There's a reason why they worked out a script because... Tommy doesn't want him to go off the rails. Like, if it was me, I wouldn't trust his ass either to give a speech. You know what I'm saying? So, I totally understand why Tommy did what he did. Wrote a damn speech for him. So, um, I, I'm just saying, I wouldn't trust him either. So, in that situation, I'm glad that Tommy, you know, is kind of revealing certain things to Grace. Um, because it's necessary. Now she's a, she's a Shelby now. There's no need for him to hide stuff from her. She's not spying on him anymore. That's your wife. She needs to know what's going on. So if anything comes up, she'll know how to protect him um, if anything goes down. Seems like she wants him out of, the, um, out of all the bad part of the business, which he's been trying to legitimize most of the business. As we see, that was the goal from two years ago from last season. Um, he's been trying to legit, legit, 
legitimize his freaking business, right? So with with Michael's help, um, so so I'm looking forward for that to happen, and so and Grace wants that too. So great episode, man! Great first episode to, to start off the season. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so. Um, hope you guys keep supporting these videos, man. If you keep supporting them, I'll keep putting them up. I'm not getting thousands of views on it. Maybe 100, maybe 200 views. Hey, it's whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I like the show and I'm uploading it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed the full reaction. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Terabyte Reacts. It's your boy. Peace.